In Laravel, a form request is a dedicated class where often validation is being performed. In MailCoach, campaigns can be scheduled. To schedule a campaign, a user should submit a date time at which the campaign should be sent. You are currently looking at the controller that schedules a campaign. You can see that the controller takes in that schedule campaign request. Let's take a look at it. Here we verify that the field named scheduled at contains a date in this format and that that date is in the future. If the value in scheduled at does not meet that requirements, the invoke method won't even get called. So at this point, we are certain that scheduled at contains a valid value. Most people use form requests solely for validation, but you can add some helper methods on there as well, which is a thing I often do. When we scroll a little bit down, we see that we create a carbon instance out of the scheduled at property of the request and give that carbon instance to the scheduled to be sent at method on the campaign. I think the controller would be much cleaner without this line. Let's move that logic to our request. So I'm going to create a new public method here called get scheduled at which will return an instance of carbon. And I'm going to add the logic here. I'm going to return that instance. And since I am in the request, I can just use this. And with this in place, I can just call it in the controller request get scheduled at. And to my eyes, this is much cleaner. We use this technique in several other places in MailCoach as well. Let's take a look at another example. Before sending out a campaign, a user can send a test email first. Several email addresses can be used here, comma separated. Let's take a look at the controller that handles this request. So it is called uh, send test email controller. You can see that it takes a send test email request. When we take a look inside that request, we can see that it requires a value for the emails field and that that value can be delimited. This delimited rule is part of our Laravel validation rules package. Here you can find several rules that we use in several of our projects and the delimited rule is part of this. If we head back to MailCoach, you can see that the request has a sanitized email function that converts that string of emails to an array. So the controller that uses that request doesn't need to perform that conversion. Instead, it can just use that sanitized emails function of the request. Another cool thing that form requests can do is that they can overwrite validation messages. You can just add a messages function and let it return an array of custom validation messages. So in this case, we are going to use this nicer message instead of the generic one. So when submitting the form without any values, I see that nicer message. 